Hey guys, this is my no measure guacamole. All you need, avocado, lots of cilantro, some limes, red onions, and salt and pepper. So let's roll up our sleeves and let's go. I just like to cut off the top of avocados like this and then I just like to grab it with my fingers and peel it because you don't get much left in the skin. Plus, doctors won't see you in the emergency room because we've done a lot of stories over the years that then you could just squeeze out the rest. Uh, a lot of people cut themselves when they're cutting into an avocado, so you don't want to do that. Make sure they're nice and soft. Look at that, just like butter. How many avocados do you usually put in? Well, I'll do four. Next, I will chop up the cilantro. Is this Gordon Ramsay or mom? I can't tell. <laughs> Okay, then we need some red onion. Uh, I've used white before in the past, just doesn't have the same taste. The red onion is really great and also adds beautiful color, but it's really perfect with guacamole. So chop this up. Okay, then I add limes last. This best tool ever. You're gonna love that because you don't waste just an ounce, a little trickle of any of the lime juice. So you can put it in either way. You could put it in just like this. And look at all that. You get all this juice. Okay, so you can add another one if you'd like, or that'll do it. Then definitely a little sea salt to taste. And if you want, a little pepper. And then just mash it up. There you have it, my no measure guacamole, super easy. And you can always add other things to it, like tomatoes or whatever, if you have time and if you have the ingredients. It's so good. Hey, if you guys make this, please put it on Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see it. And I'd love to see what else you add to it and how you spice it up. The best part about this recipe, especially not measuring, is your kids will actually put their phones down when they come running down to eat it. At least they came downstairs. Enjoy.